Thank you guys so much for being here. We're hyped to be here with you guys. Um, to my right, hi Sam, not bad. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, to my right, we have Sam Newton. He's a travel filmmaker. Uh, he's a massive following of almost 200,000 on YouTube. So I'm really excited to be here with you. And to my right, we also have Dikla Bengio. She's the manager of the Artless Partnerships team. And I'm just super excited to be here with you all and be talking about secrets for building better brand partnerships. So by a show of hands, who knows what Artlist is? Who's heard of Artless? Oh, amazing. Let's go. For, for those that don't know Dikla, could you give me a little a little brief summary of what Artlist is. Yes, of course. So Artlist is a creative technology company that provides digital assets for content creators and brands worldwide. We have music and we have sound effects and we have footage and we have templates and we just launched our new AI voiceover generator, which is insane. Let's see it. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. We got videos. Ooh. Yeah. A double rainbow? Now that's just tasty. Not the rainbow burger meal. My voice. It's an ad for Artless Ultimate AI VoiceOver, built especially for video creators. Generate high quality narrations for your videos with voices exclusive to Artlist and find the perfect voice to tell your story. Go to Artlist and start creating without limits. Woo! Amazing. So basically, Artlist has all the essential tools to inspire and empower content creators and brands to just create without limits. Amazing. So you two have been working together for quite some time. Tell me about how this relationship first started, Dikla. By Artlist, I think, to be the very first YouTube sponsor on my channel. And as a smaller creator, it's like the most exciting email you can ever get. Uh, if you're a creator, you know you get a ton of emails from like random brands and they're all, not all, 95% of them are pretty BS, like copy paste. Here's the, the brand dealer from an agency and they don't care who you are, they just want the metrics. And it, uh, it's a, not a good feeling. But this was the first email I ever got. I had 5,000 subscribers, a little bit of momentum on my channel. It was feeling good and they reached out to me and they knew who I was, first and foremost. It wasn't like, dear creator. Uh, it was like, hey Sam, we've seen this video specifically. Uh, we see how you're picking up and we really wanna engage with you. We really wanna see your channel grow more. Uh, so what about if we get into a longer term partnership? Like, we just wanna give you a little bit of space, like Dikla said, to grow your channel and see where this could go. Because we understand right now, you don't have the biggest audience, but we see your, your presence on camera and we see your relationship with the, the, the small audience you do have and we want to uh, empower you to grow a little bit more. And for a younger creator, that was the most incredible email I could have ever gotten. Because not only was it uh, a brand deal to get money, but it was something where they weren't like, hey Sam, after video one, if you haven't hit these metrics, we're out. It was like, let's do a four or five video runway. We just wanna grow with you. We just wanna see how this goes. And for me, it just made me want to perform better as a creator because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. It's about building better relationships. That's why we're here. Uh, and I think I've done a very unique approach to how I do YouTube and my relationship with Artlist specifically. I've obviously on the creator side done plenty of actual brand deals. Uh, however, I've done, this is my second talk. Now I did a Google talk on behalf of Artlist. Um, we've done, I've directed commercials for Artlist. I've done voiceovers for Artlist. I've made music, which is now in their catalog. Uh, so it's a very random ecosystem, but uh, yeah, it's just been a really incredible journey over the past uh, six years to, to build this partnership. And it's something that I enjoy being a part of and uh, it's been a good relationship so far. I think, super, so I think creators have a lot of superpowers, but I would start with capturing attention. Uh, because I think it is very, very important to understand that marketeers have exactly a few seconds to try to capture the attention of an audience with an ad that will probably seem intrusive and will struggle to hold and capture attention. Normally these ads are being skipped or ignored because the audience has zero patience to watch them. I skip them myself. As opposed to influencers that have already captured the attention of their audience and established a dedicated following that actively engages in their content. And what it means is that anything that they endorse, anything that they promote will get higher levels of interest and impact 
in comparison to traditional advertisements. And I think that's why it's super cri critical to understand that when you do a brand deal or a sponsored integration, you have to understand that it is not equal a traditional ad. Yes, of course, every brand has talking points, they have a brief, they have a message that they want you to deliver, but they do not interfere with the way you, the, you choose to deliver this message. It needs to be organic and natural, and it needs to be appealing and engaging to your audience with nothing scripted or commercial. And I always emphasize, don't try to sell anything. Show the product. Show how it elevates your day-to-day. -day. And if you're promoting Artlist, show how it elevates your production. Show how easy it is to search for a song, to download it, drag and drop it into the timeline. Show how it turns your videos from good to being great. That just sells without selling. And as creators, you have the power to illustrate to dive into the ins and outs of a product that no other traditional ad can. And I think the most important thing is the personal touch. Because the way you say things matter. And the energy in your voice, that matters. And the spark in your eyes when you talk about a product that you use on a regular basis, that just sells without selling. That arouses an eager to want anything you promote. That is a superpower. And from a brand perspective, to have creators emotionally connected to your brand, that is brand affinity and brand loyalty goals. A perfect reference to everything that I just said, and I'd love to show it because nothing can visualize more. You guys might know this guy. Oh. Let's see him. Not push her. Definitely need some mooshes. We need to do those. A lot of lighting that goes over the renders of the lot. If a shimmer had a sound, this close up of like the stem of the watch. The watch moves a lot in the render. Those can't go without sounds. Need some hits. Some undertone. It's gotta be shorter. I don't know, 20 seconds shorter, 30 seconds, a minute. We're gonna need a whole lot of sounds for this. Yes. Where are we going? 